breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. See exactly what is happening right now. The Presidential Election Tribunal ruling. Labour Party chieftain has called for calm as how to totally outburst Tinubu from office has completely been revealed. However, some Labour Party members can perceive, okay, can perceive that there are some things, you know, to cause manipulation. And this is exactly what is happening right now. And every single person is wondering what next. So my lovely people, you can see that there is urgent need, okay, for calm, really, sincerely speaking. They must be calm. They must be calm. They must be calm. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. So this is what is happening right now. You know, this is what is happening right now. Nigerians, you will be surprised that this is what is going on. Presidential Election Petition Tribunal ruling. Labour Party is noticing some foul play after the complete revelation of how Tinubu will be busted out of office revealed. Ahead of the ruling of the Presidential Election Petition Tribunal, the Labour Party senatorial candidate for Edu Central in February general election engineer Osari Meh on Thursday urged for calm. He made a call while addressing newsmen at the Court of Appeal in Abuja, the venue of the Presidential Election Tribunal. The Labour Party chieftain underscored the need for obedience to ensure calmness while the country awaits the court verdict. Engineer Sarime made the remark on Tuesday in Abuja at the Court of Appeal venue of the Presidential Election Tribunal while addressing newsmen. It says we must exercise caution so your and so your hastiness is not used against you. Recall that the presidential candidate of the Labour Party during the election, Peter Obi, is currently challenging INEC declaration of APC candidate Bola Metinobo as the winner of the polls. Obi, who is also contesting the constitu the constitutionality of the candidate of APC president and vice presidential candidate has also been in almost all the tribunal session decide looking carefully at how the decision will go the tribunal is expected to deliver a ruling on the presidential election petition case following the adoption of a final address of all parties in the coming days this has revealed to everyone who has been in court that the case is clear and all has been completed to ensure that Tinubu is completely sent out of office. However, some APC members are ditching because they can sense some foul play as judges try to interrogate final addresses, which is causing them to feel that way. However, Osari may have to come in, into place saying, what's going on? Why are you feeling why are you jittering? Why are you doing what you're doing? If you continue in this way, you will send you will send the wrong signal. You will send the wrong message, and you don't want that. Don't do that. Don't, don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. So this is what is happening right now, and every single person is watching. You know, uh, you know, you know, you, you know, watching what's going on. You know, watching it carefully and paying great attention because we cannot continue to act in this way. We cannot continue to act in this way. We can't continue. We must ensure that the right things are done. We must ensure that the right things are done. You know, if we keep on pretending, if we keep on lying to ourselves, we may never get to the bottom of this. And if we want to be honest and sincere, remember, Every day we have with us is an opportunity to make a difference. The people who are coming out here 
to do one thing or another, to set up, you know, a plan, a plan and whatever they are doing. Remember that none of them, okay, none of them may truly have the heart for the people, which is so important, so, so important. And so every single person needs to begin to arise and ensure that we all align what is needed, right and true, in order to avert the current trend of what is going on. The days upon us are so critical. Yes. So you have to advise and say, you know what? Let's not do that, okay? Let's not do that. Let's ensure that the right thing is done, okay? Let's ensure that the right thing is done and we rise up as we should and put things right in the right perspective, okay? Every single one of us should understand this. Every single one of us should understand it, okay? So it is, it is, um, it, is, it is something that we should seriously, you know, understand and ensure that we do everything, humanly speaking, possible to bring us into where we need to be because the days upon us are revealing to us, okay, who really and how things are going, who really is doing this. So every one of us needs to understand this, that we cannot afford to have the same thing over and over again and expect a different result. Who are those responsible for what is going on now? Is it that the judiciary has been told something else you know, and really it means another thing. Could there be some matters that are, you know, that are not, you know, that are not yet, that have not yet been truly atomized? Could there be some people who are, you know, after the truth, who do not want the truth to be revealed? If we are going to ensure that these things are done decently and in order, then every single one of us will have to align on the pedestal of truth and do not allow the same thing to happen again and again. So let's wake up, okay? Let's wake up and let's do what is right. Let's do what is right. Let's not allow ourselves, especially to you judges out there, you who is deciding, don't allow yourself to be used, please. If you do that, you'll be surprised what will happen. You'll be surprised. It may not be for now, but you'll be surprised. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. Remember, you have a voice. God bless. Have a lovely day. Bye for now.